Hello, my name is Oshale and you're watching Oshi Reads. Welcome back to my channel and in today's video, we are doing another episode of Recommending Romance. I have, I think, one episode up right now and it's an interview that I did with one of my absolute favorite romance novelists and she is a black indie romance author Christina C. Jones and I have that interview up now. I did um, as a behalf as a part of Quarantined Pages. I'm so glad that I got the opportunity to interview one of my favorite authors. So I would link the video right now. You can go check it out. It is about an hour long so settle in, get you some snacks and get cozy because me and Christina we talk for you know about an hour about her work and all the things that she has coming out this year. So I will go ahead and link that video and in today's episode of Recommending Romance I'm going to continue on in the same vein and pretty much talk to y'all about about the black indie romance authors you should be reading and if you're not aware of who these authors are then I'm here to make you aware and how important it is to support independent authors especially black independent authors especially black female romance authors who are independent because they just don't get the shine and the recognition that they deserve. And I know some of y'all may be watching this and say, why not just say romance authors? Why not just say indie romance authors? And the reason is if you go right now and you Google romance authors or romance books, who's going to pop up? I mean, now things are a little bit different. Like for example, I read romance primarily on my Kindle. Therefore, I utilize Amazon a lot to find new authors and new, the newest and latest releases. So therefore, now that so many companies are pandering, and yes, I say pandering, to the Black Lives Matter movement, and I say that because they didn't seem to care about Black Lives before, or Black Lives Matter movement when it began back in 2016, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Anyways, now that you have all these companies pandering, okay, sure, now you might have some Black romance authors pop up and some Black romances pop up in the search, but that has not always been the case. In fact, that has never been the case. And if you just Google romance or romance books or latest romance releases, romance authors, you are not going to see any black authors pop up. And I wanted to say specifically black female authors, but there are black men who write romance as well. They're not as well known, but they're out there. I know they are. Uh, but you're not going to see them pop up. You're not going to see their books pop up. The fact that we literally have to say black romance and specify so that we can be seen and recognized. Um, and I say we like I'm a black romance novelist, but I can only dream. But it, the fact that we have to say we have to say we in order for these authors and their books to pop up shows you right there why we have to make a distinction. Okay, it's not a distinction that we have created. It's a distinction that we've created so that we. I keep saying we. It's not a distinction that they've created um, out of some level of I don't know arrogance or wanting to feel othered or separate it's literally because they have been othered and they have been put aside as separate and they have been shunned and they've had to create their own lane so that's besides the point I don't know if I really expressed or articulated that all very well but essentially the distinction is there as a reaction and it's a reaction that has come out of being discriminated against and being excluded okay so it's a reaction in order to reclaim and repurpose and clear a path for themselves but that's besides the point let's get on to the recommendations Whew. so the first indie romance so the first black indie romance author I would like to talk about today is Christina C. Jones, why not, right? I just talked about the interview I did with her, so I'm gonna go ahead and talk about her first. Now, Christina C. Jones is an extremely prolific author. She has over 50 books published. She's been doing this since about 2013 or so. Uh, she does everything herself. She does her own covers, her own graphics, her own marketing. She is an extraordinary woman. She is so smart, so incredibly imaginative and talented. Her stories feel so real and relatable. Honestly, I can't even say that I have a favorite because every time I pick up one of her books, I am completely just enthralled from page one 
the characters are so believable they feel like people that i could know in my real life they feel like friends that i could have uh, especially her female protagonists literally feel like some of my best friends that i could call on the phone and her male protagonists are equally swoon worthy as well as have realistic character flaws things that they're working on they are very well-rounded characters because they feel so real and the things that they're going through are very relatable to other black people and even if you're not black you can easily relate because i know that's the issue right a lot of non-black people feel like they can't pick up you know black romance or even a black uh, uh or even a book that has black main characters because they inherently feel that they can't relate well how do you think that i felt my whole life reading books that don't have people that look like me and having some of these books be some of my favorite books i think that humanity is something that we all have in common obviously i think there are certain lived experiences that are universal there are certain things that are universal but i also think that there are certain experiences that are unique to being black you know black no matter where you live a lot of christina c jones's characters most of her characters are black americans and you know there are unique set of circumstances that are unique to black americans that make it very relatable for black people to read especially black american people um so i just love her books i feel when i read her books i feel like i'm gonna get something realistic and i feel like i'm gonna get something that is equal parts romantic and idealistic and you know kind of fairy tale like as well as something that feels like it could actually happen so i do like that some of her more noteworthy books for me are anti up and that whole series i absolutely love if you're interested in high stakes games like poker and the industry of poker and how that works and people who compete in these games for a living with a little bit of intrigue and like some espionage like a little bit edgier then you'll like those i really really also like uh her book Wonder which was kind of like a post-apocalyptic sci-fi type deal that also happens to be a retelling of Alice in Wonderland. That was one of my favorite reads of I want to say 2019. Um, if you also like, oh my gosh, more contemporary, just sweeter, um, pure romance, um, more along the lines of like soft romance but with a little bit of an edge to it then you will really enjoy her sugar valley series it's all about the small town i don't know it's just she has a book for pretty much any type of taste she's so prolific in her writing and she's come out with so many books like i said over 50 books that you really be able to find anything within her catalog um depending upon what your tastes are what your favorite what your favorite tropes are like she oh i just i love her books and i highly highly recommend them she is a powerhouse and i definitely think you should check her out like i said i read primarily her books through my kindle she is an independently published author so i'm not 100 percent sure where what other platforms you can find her books because i read her primarily in ebook form but i'm pretty sure that you can find her wherever ebooks are sold and she does have physical copies of her books that you can buy as well if you're not really into reading ebooks and you prefer to read a physical book i know amazon has all of her books in stock but if you want to support maybe smaller websites um, i believe she also sells her book through her own website so i will put her website right here um, so you can go check out her books and support her because she absolutely deserves it and she does not get the shine that she deserves the next black indie romance author i want to talk about is love belvin and stay tuned because i do have an interview with love belvin as well thanks to quarantined pages that will be going up very very soon some point this week uh probably shortly after you watch this video but yes love belvin is another one of my absolute favorite black indie romance authors again she's independent she does a lot of the work herself in terms of the behind the scenes things when it comes to marketing but she does have a really great and strong team behind her as well she also has been doing this for quite some time around i want to say 2014 or so um, is when she started she is not as prolific as christina c jones but she does have a good number of books out and we do call her the series queen in the black indie romance sphere she only has one standalone but if you're like me and you absolutely love series and you love to kind of see stories continue on into more than one book then you will love her work she's very diverse in the type of characters that she talks about my absolute favorite series from her is the love unaccounted for series which features 
features a evangelical pastor who is also really into BDSM and he goes on this journey to kind of claim his you know birthright and taking over his father's church and also he meets this woman who he feels is a perfect partner for him and it's a journey of just them finding and discovering themselves within their partnership and the love that blossoms between them the bond that blossoms between them all the crazy shenanigans that happen at this church and just the way that christianity can be viewed depending on who is viewing it and what lens you're looking through the different ways that people kind of express calling passion spirituality love of god sexuality it's an amazing amazing series in my opinion um love belvin is not for everyone her writing is very unique she is very verbose and tends to use um three dollar words as i like to say or my daddy likes to say you know the bigger words the bigger vocabulary and she does tend to kind of frame her sentences in a unique way it's a little harder to explain if you haven't read her work but i do highly recommend you trying a sample um, again if you're really into reading ebooks on an e-reader then this will be very easy for you to do to just get a sample and try out her books of course you can also buy her books straight from her website as well so i will leave that right here but yes definitely go support her she is phenomenal her ideas are amazing i cannot wait for y'all to watch the interview because the way that she views her characters is probably the most unique way i have ever heard ever from a writer ever um and the way that she kind of formulates her storylines and get her gets her stories together gets her plots together is so unique and i cannot wait for y'all to watch the interview <laughs> if by some chance i have already posted the interview i will link it right now but i will link it anyway for those of you who are watching this video before you watch that video highly recommend watching it and kind of getting into her mind she is also very mysterious she doesn't have much of an online presence in terms of you know images of her uh, she wants you to really focus on her work and I think that is great but she has a diverse catalog her characters are so strong and whole um, she has to me hands down the sexiest men in the black indie romance scene and I love her so much for that the next black indie romance author I would love to talk about is Alexandria house and she can definitely give love belvin a run for her money with the sexy black male protagonist because honey alexandria house's men are smoking like i'm just like why can't i meet a man like this in my real life what is going on but alexandria house is another one who's independently published she's young she writes her books are so fun and smart and witty and the characters have so much chemistry you get really wrapped up in her books really quickly they just suck you in um she has this one series in particular that i recommend to everyone i got one of my best friends cassie into the series and she quickly became as obsessed with it as i am and this is the McLean Brothers series. I know I've talked about it before on this channel. It's four books and I believe there's a novella as well. The series is excellent but Alexandria House is the type of author that literally gets better with every book that she writes. It's mind-blowing. Like I remember the first couple books I read from her I was like wow I really like her. By the time I got to the McLean Brothers series which came out like I think the last book came out last year I was blown away. Her writing just has grown tremendously. Her storylines, her plots, her creativity, her male protagonists are so well rounded out. Her female protagonists again feel like your like yourself or people that you could know i also really am obsessed with her strickland sisters series and she just came out with a novella series that i'm so oh it was so good three books focusing on these brothers and it was called them boys which i love them boys them boys book one two and three honestly as each book came out and i read each book and keep in mind these are novellas okay novellas and they were masterfully done she's so good at what she does you just get sucked in from page one and then by the time you reach and flip the last page and you see the end you're so disappointed and you want the story to continue and it's like such a letdown but at the same time you're so satisfied like how does she do it it's magic but them boys with each book that came out i didn't know which brother i liked the most i didn't know which you know couple i enjoyed the most it just kept getting better and better and yes alexandra house go check her out she is phenomenal the next independently published black romance okay desiree honestly does not get the shine or the recognition that she deserves desiree is amazing and desiree is a little bit out of the box 
because she doesn't write strictly just romance her books don't feel like just romance to me they feel like complete full stories it's hard to explain they don't just focus on the romantic relationships is basically what i'm trying to say not to say that romance aren't complete full stories but her books do not just focus on romantic relationships they focus on friendships on family bonds on deep issues within the black community like our issues of involving abuse of black women and young girls of drug use of generational curses of mental health of poverty of you know the lack of of, of thinking in education is important i mean i could go on and on and on and she does it so masterfully and just weaves it into the stories and into these characters lives and and attributes so incredibly well desiree honestly to me feels like a genius her writing is so good you guys i can't even honestly explain it i feel speechless right now and i'm usually pretty good with my words but desiree is a writer that has to be experienced to be truly appreciated that's all i'm gonna say she is very prolific as well she has so many books i think i found her with the carter boys and the carter girls series which mind-blowing mind blowing the series her latest series that i'm reading right now I read the first book it blew me away the second book just came out and I'm like it's one of those things where I want to savor this read and I'm gonna re need to reread the first book in order to delve into this next book and I'll put pictures here so y'all know what I'm talking about but Desiree's writing is very transportive she transports you into this world you get so wrapped up she writes the kind of books where I'm reading it all day long I wish she had audiobooks <laughs> because I'm reading it when I wake up I'm reading it sneaking it reading it at work reading it on my lunch break when I get home I'm reading it you know before I go to bed it's the kind of book that you stay up all night like you're just like I need to know I need to know what happens I need to keep going when you read one book in the next book in the series you, you just immediately jump in you haven't slept <laughs> you maybe haven't eaten in hours you don't care because you're just so wrapped up in this world like when I first discovered Desiree and all her books are very intertwined and interconnected and a lot of the characters um, it's like the same city the same family the same crowd um, and they're all connected in some way and the first time I discovered Desiree no lie I literally got to this point that when I finally came up for air and I had read enough of her books that I was like okay I need to take a break and get back to my real life I felt like I was coming out of a fog it literally felt like I was coming back to earth from this like other planet of Desiree that she had transported me to with her characters and her writing and her plots and her storylines <sighs> Desiree is a beast I highly highly recommend Desiree and I think I'm gonna stop here. This video is getting entirely too long. I have a whole nother list of authors. So I will have a part two for y'all and I will recommend, you know, four or five more authors. But that's it for this video. These are four black indie romance authors that I highly recommend y'all checking out. I am obsessed with them. I have read enough of their works that I recommend them confidently. I think anyone could enjoy these books, not just black men and women. And I feel that they deserve more recognition, more shine, more of your dollars and so i think you should go check out their books and yes i will see you in part two which i will film probably not today <laughs> part one is long enough but yes thank you so much for watching please don't forget to give this video a like if you liked it please subscribe as well and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time i post a video you can follow me on all my socials right here my bookstagram my twitter and i will catch you all in my next video thank you so much for watching Mwah! bye